This week on Florida's Fourth Estate, it's certainly not manna from heaven. It's big fat lizards tumbling from trees. It's going to be raining iguanas. Oh, I thought you were going to say men. <laughs> it's raining <laughs> men. And astronauts are trading in their old beater RV for a sweet new electric ride. Thanks to SpaceX and Elon Musk, they are getting a sweet upgrade. They are now going to be transported to the launch pad. Let me guess. And a Buick. No, I'm just... <laughs> Shockless, of course. Yeah. This week's Floridian figures out the hard way while running from the cops. He can't breathe underwater. He's going to jump into the water and then just sink. The problem is he doesn't have gills. And some in-house breaking news. Your favorite podcast has an emotional announcement. I'm a mess. <laughs> Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Florida's Fourth Estate, your favorite podcast with two washed out news anchors. What? My name is Speak for yourself. Matt Austin. I'm Ginger Gadsden. I'm speaking for both of no, us today. You do not. Very special episode. Uh, <laughs> Stop saying very special. Very special. <laughs> Guest star. We're going to get into Ginger's life a little bit today. <laughs> We're going to figure her out. Oh my gosh. And we have a, an announcement about the show. Are we having a child? That sounds like an announcement. That's the kind of thing you announce Let's that you're going to announce. Let's just say that would be one good-looking child. <laughs> but no, we are not having a child. I am happy to report, because my wife listens to this podcast, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not having a child. But we are going to have some crazy news stories and yeah, then uh, as always. a little fun at the end. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get things started because Do it. something that happened recently made my day because it came to my neighborhood. Or, and you're the first person who told me about Lucky's Market. That's right. You had one in your neighborhood, and you would come in after the weekend like, oh, I went and I got some stuff to make burgers from Lucky's. They mm -hmm. smashed the bacon in it and all in the ground beef, and I was like, I can't wait to get one. And then they announced one's coming, like, honestly, a mile from my house. Yeah. And that was the summer. Now they're closing. They're closing all of them in Florida except one. Except one random one in Melbourne, Florida. I'm yeah. not driving. I like Luckies. I'm not driving to Melbourne. That to just shop means at the, the Melbourne people are taking care of their Luckies. I guess the rest of us weren't. They didn't give us a chance. They did not give us a chance. It was like one of those fancy supermarkets where you could just, you know, I love the meat department because you could kind of custom order whatever yeah. you wanted to order. But they made such a big deal about it coming to Central Florida. And, I mean, people, they had like a, you know, a soft opening. You could come in and try out some stuff. I feel bad for the people who just got jobs there. Oh, yeah. Because now terrible. what? That's the worst thing. Uh, yeah. I want to feel bad for myself because whenever I was going to make burgers, they had the best meat. And yes. they would mix in the cheese. Like, I would always go there specifically before I made burgers. Because the they did a good job. They good do. Job. Yeah. I thought the thing I loved about them, uh, Sawyer and I, my four-year-old, we would do the sip and stroll. So we would, <laughs> first thing we would do, head over to the pizza counter. Yeah. You, buy a, you get two slices of pizza and a drink. You can get a beer. I don't drink, but I got a, a sweet tea. Yeah. And then we'd eat the pizza and walk around. Half the time we wouldn't buy anything, which probably is why <laughs> That's they're That's why closing. they're going out of business. I got two slices of pizza and a drink for $5. I'm stealing from these people. Now Way to I go, feel Matt. Bad. Way to go. So anyway, right. I will miss Lucky's Market. Uh, yeah, we all will. So we'll And see. when I, you know, when I'm longing for it, I'll head over to Melbourne, I guess. You're not. There's a strange forecast in South Florida. <laughs> As cold temperatures hit the state, it's going to be raining iguanas. Oh, I thought you were going to say men. <laughs> it's raining Nick men. <laughs> well, they are big. I don't know if you've been down there uh, recently in South Florida. They've no. taken over the place. They're huge, right? I grew up in South Florida. Yeah. They are every. There were none of them when You're I. You're not was talking there. about the little geckos, right? You're talking about iguanas. I'm talking about like half a gator. Look. <laughs> Look at how long they are. And Half they just fall. <laughs> they are. They're big. Why are they falling? Because it's cold and their their body goes into this weird sleep mode. They look mode. drunk. If they are like in a tree over a canal, they're done. You, you know? just hear pop, pop, plop pop. in. Yeah. And then they sink to the bottom and they're oh, dead. Oh, no. So these ones are just falling out of trees on top of people's heads. My dad, I you know, you would think this is a fake news story. My dad texted me his friend holding this mammoth iguana. <laughs> That was just asleep in his front yard and fallen out of a tree or something. Thing. So when the temperatures dip below 50, the iguana population goes into shock and sends them just plummeting to the ground. And they look like they're dead. They're not. They will wake back up but as long as they don't fall into like a buzz saw or a <laughs> bathtub. But when the temperature dips below 50 and they fall, isn't that like most Floridians? 
like it gets below 50 here and we drop like rocks. We you don't see us. It's like the end of the world. Well, most of us just put on some socks and some flip flops. Oh, you know, what's going on with that? I don't know. That's not okay. Don't, don't ever, don't ever. It's not let okay. Me see Crocs you do that. with socks? No, I know the. I know two it words. rhymes. They sound similar. <laughs> they are not meant to be that together. That is not people. a good luck. Yeah, good. It's uh, Crocs, socks, and shorts. That's what mm. we do here. Ooh, so anyway, yeah. poor iguana. So if you see them, just well, they they'll wake up eventually. Just put a little right? hair dryer on. Them or something. <laughs> No, do not, do not. <laughs> I think it'll listed. wake up and tear yeah. your face off probably. I don't know. <laughs> and now you have a lawsuit on your hand. <laughs> okay, you know, we love to talk about the Space Coast here. And the that space race is heating up. And we're about to launch some people. I feel like people will be on some missions before the end of this year because they want to go back to the moon. or they And, and eventually, mm-hmm. first you have to go to the International Space Station. And, you know, when they take the astronauts back in the olden times, when astronauts would head to the launch pad, they would travel in this fancy, dancy van you'd see called the oh, Astro yeah. Van. So if the van was rocking, no, that's different. <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> that would so, make an interesting <laughs> movie. <laughs> and so it, uh, it was always cool to see this. And, you know, it's like, oh, that's that's wonderful. And look at it. It's in the car- It's in the little convoy going to the mm-hmm. launch pad. They're all looking happy to get in this thing. But, I mean, it is very retro. Well, now... Thanks to SpaceX and Elon Musk, they are getting a sweet upgrade. They are now going to be transported to the launch pad. Let me guess. In a Buick. No. I'm tra- <laughs> <laughs> Shocker. Tesla's, of course. Yes. Isn't that great? Like, this guy is a marketing genius. You know, the day he put that Tesla with the fake Star guy Starman, in it, Star Starman, Man, yeah. and sent it up in a rocket and then let it off <laughs> into space, I was like, when you know, that's how dumb I am compared to this guy, because I was thinking, why is he wasting a Tesla sending Duh. it into space? Yeah. That, was, that got more play than a Super Bowl commercial. And people are still talking about it because it's still out there. Every once in a while, I'll think, where's Starman? Yeah. You know? But I don't think the feed's up anymore, is it? No, I don't think so. I but I, I think NASA it. knows exactly yeah, where it's it is. Probably in some other galaxy. I'm sure aliens are looking at, poking at it, like what I kind don't of know. They're freak gonna, show they're gonna, culture and, sent this? And they're going to invade us with a, a fleet of Teslas. <laughs> I, I would imagine. <laughs> it's but quite anyway. possible. But that's I, a marketing genius, and those astronauts deserve to get to go up to space in style. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no old uh, RV. <laughs> Astro van. Get out of here. We got Teslas. <laughs> All right, it's time for our favorite segment of the week. Hit it, my friend, oh, Phil. Oh, yeah. And now, your Floridian of the Week. <laughs> Always a bad idea to run from the cops. It mm-hmm. probably means you're a Floridian in the first place. But take a look Why at this Why are you guy. running? Uh, he's accused of selling methamphetamines. Oh, this guy? Yeah. Okay. I mean, look at his tattoos. I mean, if you can't see this and you're just listening, uh, basically, Describe it, Matt. there's kind of like a frowny face of tattoos that make up his uh, entire shirtless body as he's being taken out of the woods. So he got the good idea. The This is 36-year-old Christopher Booth, by the way, wanted on warrants for selling meth. So he works at a solar plant. Deputies mm-hmm. showed up to the solar plant. He yep. saw him, and he takes off running. Yeah. He jumps into the water. There's a pond nearby. Oh, he's going to swim and get away. No. He's going to jump into the water and then just sink. The problem is he doesn't have gills. He's not Aquaman. And eventually, <laughs> he's got to come up for air. And pretty much the second he came up for air, a German shepherd was on top of him. <laughs> it's like the human equivalent to whack-a-mole, but it's like whack a I don't know. whack a criminal. <laughs> But yeah, basically these these guys think that because they're underwater, the dogs can't smell them. I have seen with my own eyes these German shepherds smell cocaine oh. in a bucket of water. But I mean, how long do you think you're going to hide underwater? Do you think the cops are going to go, I don't see anything over here? All right, well, it's been 55 <laughs> seconds. Let's just give up, guys. <laughs> what is this guy thinking? Oh, my God. <laughs> So that's your Floridian. Uh, obviously, decision making runs with, uh, yeah, runs his, with those tattoos choices, that he had. Uh, I, I, I like that movie with Will Ferrell, and it, it, there's, he's got a neck tattoo, and on the side it says, "Make wise decisions." <laughs> <laughs> Random. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about you, Ginger Gadsden. Oh, what would you like to know? We usually have a guest. We have foregone the guest this week. Yeah. Uh, because we have uh, some housekeeping. Well, I'm going to take some time off. Okay. I'm going to have some plastic surgery. No, I mean, that's not. Wait, I thought, I thought you were going to rehab. 
<laughs> any of those choices. Let's start the rumors. One. No, that's terrible. Um, one of my colleagues downstairs, Julie, says that she's going to tell people I'm in rehab, okay, good. which is not the case. No. But anyway, I was born with a messed up hip, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to have a hip replacement surgery. And when I tell you it's taken me the better part of 15 years to find someone to do my hip because it's that complicated, I am not lying to you. I've seen like probably a dozen or more specialists who when I walk into a room and I walk in and I go, hey, I have this problem and I need you to fix it. And they look at me and they're like, oh yeah, no problem. I, we do hip replacements in our sleep. So let's get you uh, to take some x-rays. And then they literally come back and they're like, we wish you luck. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can put some duct tape on it. And that'll make you feel better. We wish I bet you they've luck. offered you all the pain meds in the world. Oh, my gosh. If I had started taking the Oxy and all the stuff that they wanted me to take like 10, 15 years ago, yeah. we would you not. You would be going into rehab. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we would not be sitting here having this conversation. Yeah. But I was born with something. And I just learned recently what it's called because I finally found a doctor who named it and said not only could he name it, but he could also I don't want to say fix it, but he could repair it mm -hmm. or do something about it. And I have to look at the name. It's called Percy's Dis Perthus Disease. And the, the encyclopedia or the Wikipedia says it's a rare childhood condition that affects the hip. It occurs when the blood supply to the rounded head of the femur, the thigh bone, is temporarily disrupted. Without an adequate blood supply, the bone cells die. And it's called some kind of a vascular necrosis. So all these years I've been alive, 30. Um, so <laughs> I'm not saying anything. My, uh, it grew outside of the socket. Okay. Didn't have the blood supply. So as a result, I've grown shorter on one side. And when I tell people I'm two inches shorter on one side, they're like, no way. I always thought not. you were exaggerating. And then you showed me <laughs> by like letting your I one foot hang. I took my and shoe I was off. Like, I'm like, Matt, look at what it. What is look going at me on? right now. And so it's, it's one of those things where as a kid, you just deal with it, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, the kids were like, I think I walked with a little, you know, crookedness to my yeah. step when I was younger because I didn't know how to handle it. But then you don't notice it because you're with your family and they're not going to point anything out. But when mm -hmm. you go to school with kids, they're kind of mean. So they would tease you about it or tease me about it. And I feel like that's why I'm extra nice to people because I know what it feels like when there's something you can't do anything about. So yeah. people make fun of you for that. And I was already the tallest kid in school. So the tallest kid in school, you walk funny and I had a stutter. Mm -hmm. So life was really great to me <laughs> from the get go. <laughs> yeah. but it's it was all like fun. a movie for you. Yeah, yeah exactly. So. My doctor says that he can give me almost all of the length back, almost, maybe That's amazing. Maybe half of it, which mm -hmm. to me would be a dream come true. Yeah. But it's so painful. That's the thing. I was walking down the hallway with you once, and I was doing the 11 o'clock. <laughs> Do you remember what happened? Well, which time? <laughs> <laughs> you got to narrow it down for me a little bit. <laughs> the next thing I know, I'm on the floor. I'm like, oh. You're like, oh, God, are you okay? <laughs> like, it just gave out. Yes. It just gave out. So, mm -hmm. anyway, I'm going to get that done. So, I'm going to be out for about – that's a long explanation. I'm sorry. No, I, I think it's good because uh, it's not just a normal hip replacement. Just a normal hip replacement sucks. Yeah, it does. And this time. one, uh, you know, it's not going to suck. But it uh, it's sucks suck. worse than a normal hip replacement. So you're going to get a few months away from the podcast. We're going to keep the podcast going. Yeah. I'm going to have to patchwork things together and use other people in this building. Patchwork. Uh, <laughs> like, like we don't work with a bunch of professionals. We're basically going to patch this together like your <laughs> hip has been for the last 20 years. I just can't wait to feel better. That's the thing. I'm excited for you because let me just say, as your friend, it's hard to watch you like at the end of a day. <laughs> And you're wobble. I mean, you're basically walking like with your <laughs> shoulder touching the ground. No exaggeration. It is. Okay, you're, in so much, you're in so much pain. And I don't mean that. I give you a hard time, like just because we're friends. And I oh, was. Can I just oh, tell people? OK, because you know what's coming every time. We'll, Matt and I will get into some kind of argument or tiff or whatever. And he's like, I will punch you in your hip. And I know which one it is. I, I know which side you. it is. I do. I tell her I'm going to karate chop that broken hip. But I won't have that anymore. It's going to be titanium or something. Your huh? hand's going to get broken. <laughs> oh, my God. So that's the kind of friend Matt Austin is to me, okay, everyone. Well, see, oh, here what's... I am a friend. Oh, Jesus, what's Okay, happening? Mrs. Austin and I put together a little survival <laughs> kit oh my God. for you right here, okay? 
This has the essential. So one of the things Ginger has always wanted to do, <laughs> she wants to go to Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, and once she gets her new hip, she's going to get to base camp at Kilimanjaro. So here's a, a guide <laughs> to that. More importantly, here, I don't know if I can. Oh, I, my I God. Mess up the, more importantly, there's something. I know you're going to be missing <laughs> this face. Okay. So there's a uh, little Matt Austin to go on your your nightstand. What are you doing? So you in don't this have picture? to be without me. Oh, you're great. actually next to me in this picture, <laughs> and I cut you out of it, so it was my profile pic. So just picture yourself making me laugh right there. And there's all sorts of snacks and uh, adult coloring books for you to do <laughs> during your your uh, little adventure with your hip. So a little something. Oh my God! From the this Austins. Is so. <laughs> First of all, this better be on your nightstand. <laughs> it better be right there on it. I'm going to have your husband. Oh, no. <laughs> Did I make you cry? No. But the thing is, you guys have to know how Matt is so funny. Like, he doesn't take pity on me, and I appreciate that. He was like, after I told him I was going to be out and how long my surgery was, he was like, so how would you feel if this is the first face, face you saw in recovery? <laughs> Referring to his own. And I'm like, I feel like my husband would have something to say I, about I that. I said, Donovan is going to be oh my asleep gosh. in the waiting room, and I'm going to sneak in, and you're just going to wake this up is, right and I, this. I, I so. Honestly, I wanted, to, I wanted to climb Kilimanjaro for a long time, and I just couldn't do it with this hip. And I just know that I am going to be so much better. And this is, I remember this picture, and there's my shoulder. <laughs> we're on the roof of this building. Yes. Yes, we were. And we were laughing. You literally. Genuinely. Cut me out. You were cut out of it. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to put this right next to the birthday gift you gave me like two years ago. It's a wheel of pictures, a dozen pictures, and they're all him. They're all different moods of me. <laughs> oh People are going to have the best thoughts of me after this podcast. Oh, no. But no, we're oh going to miss God, you. You know, pretty great. much if anybody in this building said they were going to be gone for two months, oh I'd be like, gosh. okay, oh. whatever. But uh, Ginger always makes oh. us laugh. and. It makes it bright and uh, sunny in here. I think we have uh, a couple more things. Producer <sighs> Tiffany is going to bring something in Please here. Please don't. I up. hope it's a Kleenex. It's, uh, Ginger got her makeup professionally <laughs> done today for a promo. That's all oh, gone now. Flowers, flowers a card. card. Nice and a few snarky things. <laughs> yes. I read it. All she right. was expecting her coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you still got to be back for coffee day. She makes us coffee oh every Wednesday. Oh, my God. Except today. It's all Wednesday. Right. So you get two months off oh, from the podcast. You got to be back you. with good ideas. Tiffany, Phil, Derek, oh, me, we're all going to miss you. This is but so nice. We're going to keep this thing going, uh, and we'll keep it going for you as best we can without that uh, sweet wit of yours. <laughs> so for another edition of Florida's Fourth Estate, my name's Matt Austin. She's a teary ginger gadget. <laughs> I'm a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I Check love you Check back with us next Thank week. You. We love you, too. We're going to miss you. All right. See you in a few months. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.